Hello, everyone. Uh, welcome to this presentation of uh, uh, the master studies in computer science and applied data science at University of Stavanger. Um, if you uh, are following this uh, presentation live, uh, you have the chance to ask questions at the end in the chat. Um, and I cannot see the, the chat right now when I have a presentation. So, but you, you can enter questions and I can answer them at the end. Uh, in Norwegian, I will present the master studies in data and applied data science. Och du har möjligheten att ställa frågor. Du kan gott ställa på på norsk eller väl svara på engelsk. Okay, so um, welcome again, and uh, I will now start presenting our um, studies here. So we have uh, at our department we have all these study programs. So, but what I'm going to focus on now is the uh, these studies: master in data science and master in secure and reliable systems and master in play data science. And all these courses are taught in English. Uh, so, so because the master, uh, master um, study is in English. It's possible to follow these studies full time, then it's two years. If you uh, have a job outside and you want to, to spread it out on, on several years, it's possible to, to follow a part-time study for four years. Uh, you can apply for both. Uh, and you can also change from one to another after you have started. Uh, yes, but please remember that a part-time study is not remote study. There are some courses you have to follow and uh, at lab here or, or things you have to do, mandatory work during the study. So it's not only to show up on exam, you have to actually be physically here for some of the courses. Let's start with the, the first one that is a master of science in computer science. To enter this um, uh, study program, we have some uh, requirements for, uh, for admission. You need to have a three years bachelor in computer science or computer engineering, or it's possible to have a bachelor in computer science informatics or similar with at least 50 ECTS uh, credits in computer, computer science or computer engineering. Anyway, <clears throat> or anyhow, uh, all applicants must have at least 30 ECTS in mathematics, statistics, calculus. And in Norway, we have a, a great a title called civil engineer. If you want to have this uh, after you are finished, uh, then, then you need to uh, have 25 ECTS in mathematics five ECTS, at least five in statistics, and at least seven and a half ECTS in physics from the bachelor. We have two different specialization on master uh, of science in computer science. The first one is called reliable and secure systems. And this uh, is a specialization for you that are interested in the development and planning of commercial computer systems for different purposes. If you are interested in wireless communication, distributed systems, <clears throat> network security, blockchain, sorry, <coughs> blockchain technology, big data, and machine learning, AI, artificial intelligence, and so on. If you want to follow this specialization, you get this study program, study uh, courses. So as you can see, uh, the first fall uh, will consist of three different courses that are mandatory. The first one is a statistical modeling and simulation course. That, that builds on the top of a fundament, fundamental statistics course that you had on bachelor. 
The second one is a security and vulnerability, vulnerability in networks and a wireless communication. So um, after the first fall, it's possible now you, you continue with the mandatory courses. Uh, first of all, distributed system, that's a mandatory one. And algorithm theory. You probably had algorithms and um, uh, data structures from Bachelor, but this is a, a master level algorithm theory course, more uh, abstract and theoretical, but also useful for many cases. You can select between two of the last uh, the last ten. Is it yes? Uh, it can be data intensive systems that focus on big data and how you handle big data in cloud. Uh, the other one is machine learning. Uh, and the next fall, so the third semester, there you have the uh, opportunity to study abroad and or you can follow uh, some elective courses here. Among the elective courses, if you still want to continue at our university, you can uh, follow uh, the information retrieval and text mining course. That uh, then you had to follow machine learning first from the semester before. You can follow discrete simulation and performance analysis. Uh, you can uh, follow image processing with robot vision or blockchain technology. Uh, built on distributed system knowledge. Um, there are other elective courses uh, too. Uh, there is a project in computer science and it's a star there indicating that this is something for those that only for those that are going to do the master project the semester after. Um, and uh, it's not necessarily all that can get the project, but it's an option. Or another option is to follow uh, deep neural networks. Uh, that's a five ECTS course. Then you need to, uh, to find another five ECTS course if you want to follow that one. Um, you can study abroad. Uh, we have uh, institutions, uh, as you can see in the green box, uh, the, the in, that we co collaborate with in Denmark, uh, in Netherlands, Poland, Germany, France, Australia, US, it Italy and Germany. So it's, it's a lot of uh, opportunities to, to uh, have a study abroad. And there you need to, um, some, some of them have, uh, have fixed programs, but uh, if not, you have to get um, an approval of the, 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 the courses you're going to take if you go abroad. Um, and then at the end, there's uh, 30 ECTS uh, master thesis. And uh, th there you work alone or in a group of two. And that is uh, in the spring then in 2024 here. So go to the, we go to the other specialization called data science. So for the, this uh, one, the specialization is for you that are interested in analyzing big data sets, in cloud computing, and interested in machine learning. Well, some of these courses uh, is uh, offered for the other specialization too. But uh, here you can go further with deep learning, data mining, and even more AI courses. Um, for this specialization, you have these courses. So starting in August, uh, there will be uh, as two statistical uh, advanced courses, probability, probability and statistics two. two. Uh, next, statistical modeling and simulation. So this one, these courses are given from uh, the uh, Department of Mathematical and um, Physics, Mathematics and Physics. And there's a course called Introduction to Data Science here at our department. Next, uh, the spring semester, in second semester, you see we have 
1.500 data intensive systems at a, as a mandatory course. Their machine learning is also a mandatory course. And in addition, the, uh, you see dot 550, we call it data mining and deep learning. So these are focused on data uh, much more than, than the, the other specialization. Yes, it's possible to study abroad the same institution that I mentioned before, e, or you can uh, follow over uh, elective courses here at uh, uh, UES. And these courses are statistical learning, or it could be uh, information retrieval and text mining. If you are familiar with um, machine learning and have heard about natural language processing, that's more into this uh, course. And uh, we have a course called security and vulnerability in networks that was mandatory for the other one. It's, it's an elective, cor elective course here, as well as that 530 uh, called discrete simulation and performance analysis. There are other elective courses too. Uh, as you can see, uh, there's a option here as well to do a project uh, if you're going to do a master uh, after um, uh, the semester after. It's possible to follow image processing and it's possible to follow the deep neural networks course. Yes, let's go to the master of science in applied data science. So this one is for you that already hold, have a, or are soon done with a bachelor degree in engineering, technology or science other than computer science. You probably have a bachelor in, um, in mechanic, in uh, el electrical engineering or something else or mathematics or something. It's possible for you to follow this one. Uh, and. Uh, you, you maybe want to learn more about how to use machine learning, deep learning, data science to analyze uh, the big data sets. So what about the requirements here? Yes, you need to have finished a bachelor degree in these uh, fields. In addition, it's important to hold uh, or have a at least 10 ECTS in programming or a computer science course. If you have more than one, 10 ECTS, uh, I would recommend that because some students only holding 10 ECTS could maybe have a, a, a tough uh, start, but it's, it should be sufficient with the 10 ECTS of computer science. In particular, if you have uh, programming in Python, I would uh, say that you are better qualified than others. You need to have at least 30 ECTS in mathematics, statistics. And if you want to have um, a civil engineer Norwegian uh, degree in your um, then uh, we require 25 ECTS mathematics, five ECTS in statistics, seven and a half ECTS in physics. So the study plan is mostly the same, but there's a difference in the first semester. As you see, there is another course called modeling and computational engineering. It's more in mathematical modeling given from another department here at our faculty. Uh, but, and you also see that in, in the semester two, uh, you find databases. Uh, if you have not, if you already have databases from the bachelor, you need to put in another course here. That is a computer science course. Uh, but since you've not uh, done a computer science degree, then, then we expect you don't know uh, this one. It's possible to stay abroad uh, as uh, already mentioned and the elective courses are mostly the same as already presented. At the end, uh, you are uh, able to do a master uh, thesis of writing master thesis. 
and then you can go and enter the uh, uh, to to the master thesis uh, thirty ECTS. Uh, write this one master thesis project. So, just uh, shortly about the, the student facilities. Uh, if you uh, become a student here, we have a master students VIP room called Ada Student. Here is possible to drink coffee or and eat and also sit to sit and work. It's open the whole day, and a lot of students use it uh, quite much. Here you meet other master students at our department. Um, in addition, there's a, next to this room. It's a it's a room called Turing Salon a project-based room, quite much used. Uh, here it's also possible to sit. Well, there, there are some organized lab, but um, beside of that, it's, uh, the, the room is open to use for, for you. Um, student activities, uh, the EC uh, is called the student organization. They uh, organize the ikt dagen that uh, is in September. So it's a lot of companies uh, that will present themselves here. We also have something called Stavanger AI Lab. It's, it's about uh, artificial intelligence. And uh, there's also a student organization here that's more professional student organization compared to EC that is more social. Uh, we also have arrangements for students outside campus. We call it Sail Away. It's for all students at the, the university, not only computer science students. Where can you find a job? Uh, well, here you see a lot of uh, logos from the companies that was present in, uh, at ikt last, uh, last fall. Uh, that these are only examples. And yeah, it, the question is only why? Why should you do a master of science? Well, compared to a bachelor, you get deeper knowledge. Um, as a bachelor, you learn what to do, but as a master, you learn more why we do it. Of course, you learn more um, other things too, but why are we doing it? Maybe if we compare to a PhD, uh, we can ask, are, are we sure that we will do it this, this way? So that's the difference between a bachelor, master, and a PhD. Um, I, I will claim that you make better decisions uh, with a master because you know more. You become more mature, not only because of your age, but also because you learn more you become even more attractive. Uh, many students here are very attractive. Uh, it's a lot of jobs inside computer science. If you get a master, you get more attractive, you can make even more money. <laughs> but not, uh, uh, and not forget that you get more opportunities to, uh, to got, uh, go into different kind of jobs. So if you have questions around the study program, how it's built, it's a, is it possible for me to start or not? Please contact our uh, student uh, coordinator, uh, Cheryl. Um, she can help you about the uh, questions there. If you have more questions about the professional, uh, th then you can ask me. So please remember to apply before April 20th. Uh, I hope to see you as a student here. Um, so, but uh, good luck with your decision. And thank you very much for your attention.